para enseñar siete es la luna y tenemos los elementos aire, tierra, agua y fuego. Tlal, at, tlet, ekat. Y hablando de náhuatl vamos a hacer nuestro saludo, pero lo vamos a cambiar. Vamos, hoy va a ser día de inglés. My mother, my father made me. Butterfly, hummingbird, eagle, wisdom, strength, beauty. I am. One is the sun. Two is the earth, three are the animals, four are the people, five is the world, six is the sky, seven is the moon, eight are the birds of Venus, nine are the seasons, ten is death. Eleven are the waters, twelve is community, thirteen are the stars. Zero is infinity, and twenty is complete. Very good. Now, I have a little story that I want to read to you, and it's in, in uh, Spanish. De compras, but in English it means buying. When you go to the store to buy something, this is what this story is about. It's called buying. Let's see. First, again, buying, and this is not a real duck, it's a toy duck. You can also buy real ducks at the pet store, but here, this is a toy duck. And it begins, I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy a duck, a toy duck. 
That means that this person is selling the toy dog for a quarter or 25 cents. I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy this blanket. So this blanket costs a quarter also. I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy a doll. This doll is worth a quarter. I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy a toy zebra. Oh my goodness. I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy a yo-yo. I have a coin worth 25 cents. I can buy a zipper. Now I only have six coins worth 25 cents. So how much money does he have left? Well, this is 25 and 25 and 25 and 25 and 25 and 25. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to count these using the numbering system of the Tonal Machot. But that will be a little later when we close, okay? And now let's attend to the Gregorian calendar. Today is, and notice in English how it, the, the words are reversed. Instead of saying, uh, today uh, uh, is Friday, today is Friday, the 17th of April, we say today is April, today is Friday, April 17th. A little different. We, we, in Spanish we say, hoy es viernes 17 de abril 2012. In English we say, today is Friday, April 17, 2020. Let's count quickly. To 17. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventy. Seventy. <coughs> Very good. Now, I have a little story that I want to read to you, and it's right here, and it says, Just Like Me, and it's a story of Jill and Jane. Maybe they, they are two sisters, maybe they are two friends, but notice how much they are alike. Their hair is brown, look at their face. You could say they might be twins. Story begins again. Just like me. There's Jill and Jane, and it says, Jill is just like me. Jill likes jelly. Just like me. Look at all that jelly all over the place. Jill can j jump. Just like me. This is Jane. And just like Jill, she's also jumping. But I think she might be a little bit confused or doesn't want to admit that. Jill can jump, but look at what happens to Jane, okay? She can jump, but she gets all tangled up. 
Jill can juggle. That's, there's Jill juggling. And of course, Jane says, just like me. Oops! So, these girls, they look alike, but they can't do the same thing the same way. And that's okay. We all do things a little different. Look at the words from the story. They all begin with the letter J. J. Jill. J. Just. J. Jelly. J. Jump. J. Juggle. Now, you can freeze the video right now and I invite you to use your notebook and write out these words so that you can practice your writing, your spelling, and you might also want to maybe try and draw Jill and Jane. Or maybe you want to draw you and your brother, or you and your sister, or you and your mom, and see how much alike both of you are. All right. I hope you like that little story. Now, let's get back to our buying story. We said that this young man and his dog went to buy things, and all he had was quarters. And he was lucky because everything cost a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Now, he has one, two, three, four, five, six quarters left. One, two, three, four, five, six quarters left. Each quarter we know is worth 25 cents, according to the story. Cents. Now, if we want to know how much money he has left, we would have to add 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. That's a really big number to be adding. But later on we're going to learn how to count by fives. For example, 25 is 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Now, if we knew how to count by fives, we would do this 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. So 
he has 150 cents. 150 cents is how much money he has. If he wants to make that into a dollar, all he's got to do is go like this. Put a dot there, and this is one dollar and fifty cents. Because a dollar is worth a hundred pennies. So he would have, it's a hundred and fifty cents, or a dollar and fifty cents. In other words, one hundred plus fifty. Okay? But we have to know how to count by fives in order to do this big problem, which we will. We're going to be covering that next week. Now, I'm going to remind you that you should have completed this sheet. And this sheet is the Tlokenawake as a circle. I mean, the Tonal Machol as a circle inside a square and then inside a circle and here you have a triangle. Now these look like triangles but they're not because they don't have straight lines. There's only one triangle here, this one. And there's two circles, this one and well actually there's many circles in the Tonal Machot but the main circle is this one and then this one. So this is for you to color each part a different color and make it look nice. You can also color the tonal machot. I also gave you a crossword puzzle with a list of 19 words that you can fit into here. And I'm sure your parents and you will have a lot of fun completing this and that would have been our work for this week. Now, this week, you should have, uh, or you will be watching El León y el Ratón. It's a story in Spanish about a lion and a mouse. Very interesting story, very fun story, and it has some questions for you to answer. So, this is Friday, and remember, we record this before. We don't record this live, like, I'm not, I'm not here right now, it's a recording. So you might see information on your video that says, ah, oh, that's not the right day, but that's okay, because this is a recording. So, uh, I want to wish you a very happy weekend. Remember to be safe, wash your hands, and keep a distance with strangers, not in your own family, but with people that, uh, friends that you don't see every day. You keep your distance, and everything will be all right because we have, remember, medicine came to the people. Uh, if possible, there will be one more video that you'll see from me, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it yet. And that's right close by Las Cruces, where uh, over a thousand years ago, they drew the story about how medicine came to the people. They actually drew it on the rocks. And you can see the deer and, and all the story I told you. But we don't know if we're going to be able to do this. We will try for you. Ashkan Mosla. Until next week, thank you.